If you haven't caught it, Breaking Bad is set right here and produced in Albuquerque. It's the story of a mild-mannered high school chemistry teacher, Walter White, portrayed by actor Brian Cranston, who in the first season was diagnosed with an advanced lung cancer and turns to a life of crime producing and selling meth. Yes, and Breaking Bad is a critical hit, winning six Emmy Awards and nominated this year for 13 more. The fifth and final season premiered two weeks ago and has fans on the edge of their seats. And our favorite DEA agent, Breaking Bad Stephen Michael Kisada, is here to tell us what's coming up on this dangerously addictive drama. But first, here's a scene from last week's episode. So Hector Salamanca killed Frank. But who gave Salamanca the bomb? A lot of questions. Not much in the way of answers yet. The APD did find some of uh, Frink's financials. That just might lead to something. I had him out to my house. Fourth of July, we cooked out in the backyard. My son shucked the corn, my daughter cut up potatoes. Frank brought sea bass. Every time I grill it now, I make a little foil pouch, just like he showed me. That whole night, we were laughing, telling stories, drinking wine. I mean, somebody else completely. Right in front of me. Right under my nose. My word to describe this wow. show is intense. <laughs> intense. If you had to pick one adjective, intense. Oh, yeah. Welcome uh -huh. back, Stephen Michael Quesada. Thank Welcome. you. I always Thank try to you. say it like James Douglas, but I don't ever have the same impact. I, know. <laughs> yeah, I have to or say. Or the same hair. Or the same hair. <laughs> Pretty close when I lived in Jersey. But yeah, I have to say, season five has just pushed this show into a whole new territory. I mean, hello, Walt is Kingpin. And hello. so, are you and Hank still hot on his trail? Yeah, the story. we are. I mean, we still got clues. We're still following clues, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I think that you know, I, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just guessing yeah. that you know, Hank will find out. You know, I mean, we don't know. We've only shot eight. Yes. Uh, and so we'll see. We'll see what the the, the last date have to do it. But you know, <laughs> the story has to come to a close, uh, and somebody's got to get caught or somebody's got to die. And you know, it's Breaking Bad, so a lot of people yeah. got to die. <sighs> uh, and uh, you know, we really take this subject matter, which is you know the methamphetamine yeah, sure. uh, business, and do not glorify it. Mm -hmm. you know, See, I like we that. scare you. We mm -hmm. you know we should deter you. Yeah. I think if you watch this show and you think it's cool, uh, you're crazy. Yeah, yeah, and I appreciate you saying that message. You think about shows like Sopranos that really glorified being yeah, in the mob course. and things yeah. like that. So I think it's an important it's an important lesson is that, you know, it's television. It's not yeah. real life. It's and a made up story, yeah, exactly. a made up story. But they, it plays so real. So yeah. we have to take uh, complete measures to let everybody know that mm -hmm. this isn't a glamorous show. It doesn't glamorize anything. Right. Um, you know, the only good guys are the cops, really, at this point. And that's point, you. you know? <laughs> so, One of the it's good. cool to play a good guy. You know? Yeah, I bet it is. Usually I play a bad guy. You know? We like you so, as the good guy. You're a good guy. Yeah, I'm all right. I, I like being a good guy. We like that about you. Yeah, I think your family appreciates it, too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and... We've got more to talk about. Oh, yeah. Here is the series creator, Vince Gilligan, with a taste of what's in store for season five. Let's involve Walt in this discussion. This year, I got to tell you, what you're going to see new is, is Walt winning. I won. Gus Frank is dead. Walt is the new kingpin. From season four to season five, he's become Heisenberg. We're done when I say we're done. He enjoys it. He's now good at it. He developed a skill set for this type of lifestyle. He lives off the adrenaline. That's his drug. What is a world like where he is not at death's door at every turn, but is in fact ascendant and triumphant? That's what you're going to see in season five. What happened? Who are you again, Tommy? Aaron. Aaron. Aaron Paul. And I play uh, Jesse Pinkman. So it's white and pink. Yeah. Jesse, this season, is reinvested. Just give him a chance. That's a big statement because Jesse, in seasons past and as recently as last season, has been at extreme loggerheads with his former mentor, his former high school chemistry teacher. Well, Jesse is now seeing Walt with very different eyes. I am relieved, Walt. And scared. 
scared of what? You. Oh. Oh, and yeah. may I say, both men are nominated for Emmys this year yep. for their acting. Yeah, so 13 Emmy nominations. Uh, Congratulations, yeah. guys. That's Crazy. amazing. So excited for, uh, for everybody involved, including you, of course. And, you know, we were just talking about the fact that it's not completely wrapped yet because season five is actually going to be split into two seasons. That's right. Mm -hmm. Little extra anticipation. Eight eight. Yeah. So yeah. So after all these years, and I mean, it's like a family when you work with a cast like this. Oh, so yeah. how difficult is it to think it's going to come to an end? Wow, it is. It's 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 hard. Um, you know, Brian and Dean and Betsy and mm. RJ and you know everybody that's on the cast. Uh -huh. Bob, you know, uh, Mike. Uh, everybody you know, we're like family uh, mm -hmm. they've been great people yeah uh, you know this has been six years will be seven years you know I know we only have five seasons but you know we did the pilot and then mm -hmm. it took a year and then you know yeah uh, people don't realize that it's yeah it takes a, a time longer. yeah it takes a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of time and then we had the year off we had the writer strike so we've been together for about seven years yeah and uh, we're definitely like family uh, the crew the New Mexico crews rock the well they're the best mm -hmm. uh, we're proving that New Mexico is the best you know Love with that. all the stuff that's coming out of New Mexico yeah. uh, everything that comes out of New Mexico is you know top notch either on its channel or you know gets Oscar nominations or Emmy nominations that's I mean that's that, that that has to do with the crew also and so sure you know I'm very proud of of the crew in New Mexico and that's why I want to develop my own stuff here in New Mexico yeah. and use the crews here in New Mexico so keep we them working to keep working uh, yeah. you know and, and again you know I don't need 25% of anything I'm just gonna make it happen <laughs> oh I love wow. that. I like, that's really nice you, know, to hear. you can't you can't rely on other people to help you you have to go yeah. out and work for yourself you really do. I mean if they do help us that'd be great because then I could create more jobs but <laughs> you guys know my other my other shows that I do mm -hmm. I train kids uh, we oh, work yeah. with kids well yeah. speaking of your other show when does the next season of the after after party with Stephen Michael oh, yeah. Yeah. And the James Douglas show start. <laughs> well, uh, you know, we have new episodes that haven't aired yet, so we're okay. going to start airing those here in a couple of weeks. Uh, but we're going to go back into filming uh, September 11th. Okay. I know, September sure. 11th. Every time I say that, you know, it's kind of hard to say that <laughs> celebration date. Celebration of America. It just happens to fall on a Tuesday. So, yeah, we're trying to change that. Yeah. It's a celebration of, of what we're doing here in New Mexico. It's Definitely. a celebration of what's happening in America, you know, because we turned around. And all that is done. Everything's been taken care of. I don't like to mention, like, bad people's names. I don't know why they get press. No, they So I won't even mention his keep name. It positive. But all that's done, right? It's yeah. taken it's care of. We're moving on. And September and so, 11th is a good day. It's so the beginning of the new yes, season of the After the After, after, after Party. party yeah, <laughs> and that sure. same week, let me mention that in September, I think it's the 15th, you and the James Douglas Show are going to be in concert. Now, this is going to take place at the National Hispanic Cultural Center, and what you're doing is you're taping a live DVD. So, what are, are the are. details? Tell us. So, uh, you know, a lot of people who know my career, I, I was a stand-up comic for 20 years, yeah. and so I'm back doing a little bit uh, more uh, stand-up comedy right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I just did a couple of tour dates, and I just opened up for Rob Schneider. Yes, I'm hugely dust, successful. I'm kicking off the dust, as us comics <laughs> like to say, and uh, getting ready to do a, you know, uh, a concert with the James Douglas Show at the National Great. Hispanic Cultural Center, and that way we have a DVD so we can have product to sell because people well, are asking. Well, speaking of that. kicking off the dust, I know this Sunday your annual celebrity golf mm -hmm. tournament is at Chamisa Hills Golf Course. That's right, you're going to play. <laughs> yes, right? I am. Well, play. that's why I'm hoping I can stay out of the sand. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, my gosh. Man, you're better in the sand. This is <laughs> I New am Mexico. Actually. So, I, what are the details? Yeah, what's uh, happening well, with if that? You, uh, we, we're looking for golfers. We're still looking for teams. Uh, okay. It's this Sunday at Chamisa Hills. Uh, I think the tee off is a shotgun at 1:30, so get there about 12:30 okay. uh, to sign up and stuff. Uh, uh, if you want to put a team together, call 268-2111. Uh, Mark Padilla at Lesmans, mm -hmm, who's mm -hmm. one of the producers of the After After Party. Yeah. The reason why we're doing this golf tournament is because we're trying to raise more money. Because, you know, we do this TV show with no budget, with no money. Exactly. Uh, and so we need stuff. You know, we have hard drives. We need stuff for our crew. Because uh, we train kids from data. We train kids from Matrisco Heritage, YDI kids. Great. So oh, that's wow. what our show is so all much. about, really. And it's about exposing New Mexico talent. Yeah. So we want to stay alive. And so we're going to do a golf tournament to raise that That's kind great. of money so we can continue to keep doing it. We'll see how he does. We'll have to report Hopefully back on that. there'll be a couple PGA scouts there. To they will. Scout. <laughs> they will. <laughs> you know, my advice is hit the ball. That's what I got <laughs> Just for hit you. the ball. Hit and it. you said about training kids. And speaking of training kids, I have to mention that next week you are beginning, or the week after that, August 1st it is, I think. You're yeah, beginning Wednesday, your 12-week acting courses. That's correct. Tell us about that. Um, uh, I'm going to be offering acting courses. Uh, depending Gosh. on how many students I get, I may do one night. If I get a lot of students, we may do a couple nights sure. or may do some daytime stuff. Stuff. Nice. Some of us can do it in the daytime. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've been working with uh, people locally about auditioning. Uh, now we're going to be working uh, working on a camera, how to work with the camera. So important. Because uh, it's different. Uh, and that's what we're going to be doing. How so, can they sign up well, if they want to take class? Get, 
get a hold of me on Facebook. Okay. Uh, Facebook me because that's the best way to get a hold of me and let me know that you want to, you know, be a part of my acting class. So cool. And we'll take it from there. Fantastic. Oh my thank gosh, you. Stephen, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to have you. You know you're welcome anytime on our show. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. We love it. having you here. And good luck on Sunday, boys. Oh yeah. I'll thank be you. rooting for Got you. It, man. And Got states it. across the country are reporting a spike in gun sales after the Colorado movie theater massacre. Is New Mexico one of them? We'll find out next on New Mexico Style.